Hello, my name is Tim. My company is Sports and Touring, and we are Jaguar F-Type specialists. It's a great pleasure to show you this beautiful car. We're really proud to have it here. It is a P300, so the two-litre turbocharged rear-wheel drive F-Type in a beautiful colour palette, in fabulous condition with great history, and with very low mileage and a really good range of options. Let's take a look around. There it is, the Growler emblem sitting on the nose of this F-Type. As it has sat on the nose of so many sports cars built by this renowned brand over so many decades. A company with a glorious history of racing, of high-tech engineering, of technical development, of beautiful aesthetics. And all of those things come together as they had to in the F-Type as the final punctuation mark in the petrol engine sporting history of Jaguar. And this particular F-Type, well, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? It's finished in Carpathian grey, named for the Carpathian mountains in Central Europe, a kind of mid to dark grey, I dare say, with a beautiful sheen to it, a very lustrous paint finish. With chrome pack, of course, and sitting on these beautiful, perfect, freshly refurbished, and that's a proper factory refurbishment, pattern 5060 wheels with five thin spokes, making them lightweight and making them look brilliant too. And this car, as you can see, has the black design pack as well, the side skirts and splitters, very much forming a plinth on which the car stands and making for a very effective look indeed. The condition throughout is superb. This has clearly been a weekend enjoyment, not a Monday to Friday workhorse. It's in stunning order. The paintwork is fabulous. All of the details and appointments are exactly as they should be. It's been very well looked after indeed, and of course, has very low mileage on its odometer. Let's take a look inside. The car's supplied, of course, with two remote key fobs and the original owner's book pack. And pressing the button to unlock, we can see the door handle pops out with the Jaguar logo on it there. And we can open the door and take a look inside this beautiful cockpit. Starting with the door card, which you will see is in factory condition. There is not a single blemish or mark anywhere, no sign of use anywhere at all on that door card. And that reflects really the state of the rest of the cockpit. We look at the scuff plate there, and it is again, totally unblemished. Moving deeper, we can see that we've got the post facelift seats, of course, in this car, and they are finished in jet leather with Alcantara. And that is of benefit because in the summer, you won't get that hot shock when you sit onto a hot leather seat. And in the winter, the Alcantara warms up much, much more swiftly, and you won't feel cold when sitting down, waiting for the heated seats to come on. And the condition is really good. We don't have any of the wear problems which you might expect to see on a car with higher mileage. Sitting down into the cockpit of the F-Type is always a great thing to do. We can take in the combination of technology and artistry that comes together here. It's a very beautiful place and a very ergonomically sound place. Everything about how an F-Type works and is driven is very sensible indeed. Looking around, we've got, of course, a little stowage there under the net. Then we come down to the centre console and under the armrest, we've got a 12 volt socket and a pair of USB sockets, along with the slot for the micro SIM. Forward of that, the two cup holders and there's a little recess in the middle, which will take a, a small can of Red Bull, for example, if you're into that stuff. And to explore the rest of the cockpit, let's start up the two litre turbocharged Ingenium engine using the start button. As we do that, we'll see the instrument panel do its little flying display and then the center air vent will rise up into position. And we've got that refined rumble of the turbocharged engine in our background now. So on the center console, then we've got the electronic parking brake with hill start assist. 
eco stop start the button for the deployable rear spoiler that comes up automatically at 70 miles an hour goes down again at 54 but you can put it up using the button very important to do that before you wash the car so that you do wash the area under the spoiler we've got traction control off and the button for the switched active sports exhaust those valves at the end of the exhaust system which add a throatier note to the exhaust when driving then this beautiful shift stick it is such a lovely piece of design trigger on the front there so that we can move from park into drive mode and that is the standard gearbox mode we move the stick across to the left and that puts us into sports gearbox mode slightly different mapping the revs will be held higher to give you better acceleration when you need it and so forth and in sports gearbox mode you can shift up and down on the shift stick as well and of course you've always got the flappy paddles either side of the steering wheel so that you can change gear without taking your hands off the wheel very important for performance driving we'll put the gearbox back into drive mode and come across to the driving mode selector and here we can select between normal mode and dynamic mode. That is signaled to us by the instrument binnacle turning red and we get dynamic mode confirmed there on the dash. And that sets the car up for a more dynamic style of driving. So the throttle mapping and gearbox mapping and so forth change to give a sportier feel. And we can go back out of dynamic mode into normal and on into rain, ice and snow mode. And this is a very sensible mode. It calms the car down and makes it much more relaxing to drive if you're on a slippery surface, for example, if it's snowy or icy. And with a rear wheel drive car with wide tires, of course, that's really beneficial. Back over here and we can see the climate controls, air conditioning switch, recirc switch, the temperature controls there. And behind the temperature controls, by pressing either of these buttons, we can turn the electric seat heating on. It's a three stage system and very useful indeed when the weather is cold. Up to the infotainment screen, and this again is a post facelift car, so we've got the big screen without the buttons at the side, it's entirely touch screen. We can swipe across to customising our home page one. That's something that the new keeper of this car will do, where all of their favourite functions will be gathered together. The centre home page here has navigation, media, and phone on it. And if we swipe across, we can see this car has Apple CarPlay, Android Audio, in control apps, and so forth. So it's a very fully featured system. Navigation is very sensible, easy to use, and clear. The media is very good. It's Meridian sound in this car, so a good high quality hi fi system. And the Bluetooth telephony works brilliantly, of course. And all the other features that you might need are accessible through the buttons on the bottom of the home screen. So, for example, we can go to the climate control page there where we could direct the airflow in whichever sense we wish. Up to the centre vent there, and you can see it's working correctly. It is a, um, occasionally problematic on uh, F-types. Very, very quick and easy and cheap to fix if you have a problematic one, but this one is working exactly as it should. Over to the steering wheel, and we've got the infotainment and Bluetooth controls on the left, under the left thumb. We've got the automatic headlamps there on the left stalk. And on the right-hand side, cruise control and the active speed limiter. And of course, on the stalk there, the rain sensitive wipers and the electric seat controls there and lock unlock buttons are mounted on the door. And to round off our tour of the cockpit, let's look above and see this beautiful panoramic sunroof. It is such a good thing. And of course, if the sun gets too much, just slide the screen across and that keeps the light and the heat out. Again, you can see everything about this cockpit is in fabulous order. Truly, stunningly good condition, unblemished and unmarked. Pretty well, precisely, as it left the factory. Oh, and by the way, let me point out too that we have the uh, speed indication there on the dash. Another extra cost option on this P300. We can switch the engine off and take a look in the boot. Looking at the back of the car, and I'll just point out the reversing camera, very, very clear on these F-types. It's a great bit of kit. And then to open the boot, either we can use the button on the key fob or the button just under the Jaguar logo there, lifting up the tailgate. And there is this 
lovely big boot, over 300 litres of space, which is very impressive in a two-seat coupe. Of course, it's a slightly awkward shape, so you need to pack soft-sided bags. You could indeed invest in the bespoke luggage set uh, that various people manufacture for the F-Type. And with that amount of space, this is a proper touring car. I've had friends go away for many weeks touring in their F-Types with no problem at all with luggage. There's a bit of useful space here under the boot floor with a couple of elastic straps which will help hold things in place. And there in the forward corner, by the way, is the inflation kit for the puncture repair. Again, everything in fine order, no unpleasant odours in this car, no signs that it's had animals in it, for example. It's very clean and correct and tidy and a credit to its previous owners. Looking at the passenger side of the car, and again, everything is in beautiful order. A perfect door card, a completely factory fresh scuff plate, and this beautiful seat, which again is in stunningly good order throughout. Everything just as it should be. Under the bonnet, and there is Jaguar's two litre Ingenium engine with that big turbocharger next to the engine there, forcing air in and helping this plant to produce 300 horsepower and drive this F type from 0 to 60 in just 5.4 seconds and on to a top speed which is artificially limited at 155 miles per hour. And it all it does all of those things in addition to delivering a combined fuel figure of over 35 miles per gallon. And that makes great sense if you're going to do considerable mileage in your F-Type. Uh, this is a car which will deliver better MPG uh, according to the manufacturer's figures than the V6 and very definitely than the V8. And again, under the bonnet here, everything is exactly as it should be, all very clean and correct nothing out of place. The service history is very good. The car's just had a service at our friendly local Jaguar main dealer who look after us so brilliantly and it's ready to go for its new owner. So thank you very much indeed for watching. It's been a great pleasure to show you this beautiful F-Type. We are sports and touring. We're just outside Andover in Hampshire. We're open seven days a week by appointment only. You're very welcome to email, telephone or WhatsApp us with any inquiries or if you'd like to see this car in person or by video call. We keep an online Google Drive folder for each of our cars with high resolution photos, which you can zoom in on and PDF copies of important documents like the motor check report and service history. And we can send you a link so that you can view that folder. If you've got a car to dispose of, it'll be a pleasure to give you honest and frank advice about the best way to achieve the maximum value with the minimum inconvenience. And if you'd like to chat about finance, we can do that as well. We're authorized and regulated by the FCA. Do please take a few moments to read our reviews on Auto Trader. I'm so proud of the way that our previous customers speak about us. And I'll close by saying thank you again, and I do hope that we'll hear from you shortly.